what is a force? So a force is any push or pull. A force is a vector, which remember from unit one, is anything that has magnitude, which is a number, and direction. When a force is acting on an object, it can cause an object that is not moving to move or an object that is moving at constant speed to accelerate because it changes either the speed of the object or the direction. So when we are looking at units, so we know that these are all the units that we already know from last unit with speed and velocity. The new units to you are forces for forces is Newton's capital M, which actually stands for kilograms times meters per second squared, which we know what unit kilogram stands for and meters per second squared, um, per, uh, meters per second squared stand for when they're together, it actually makes the Newton capital N, which is a unit of force. We use a scale to measure force where you believe that a scale is to measure mass, which actually a mass is uh, measured by a balance, whereas scale measures force, which we use a scale to measure our weight, which is a form of force that is based on gravity. We will actually go over that a little bit later. So now when we are representing forces, so in this picture, this is what's called a free body diagram, which the abbreviation is FBD, which we will talk more about in the next set of notes. Um, again, when we represent forces, we have our arrows, which are our vectors. The arrows give you direction, and then the size of the arrow is your magnitude. So when we have arrows or vectors pointing into the object, these types of forces are called pushing forces. When the arrows are going away from the object, those are called pulling forces. So we're needing to know what net force is. So net force is the total force that is acting on an object and it controls the motion. When you are adding forces to get the total sum of your forces acting on an object to get net force, when the forces are in the same direction, we add them. If they are in opposite directions, meaning not the same direction, you're going to subtract the forces. The net force is in the direction of the bigger force, so we're going to practice. So here we have two forces. Again, these are pushing forces because they're going into the object. We have two Newtons going to the right, five Newtons going to the left. These forces are not going in the same direction, so therefore we're going to subtract the forces. And so therefore this will be three Newtons to the left because five Newtons is larger than two. When we look at this one, we see that both of these are in the same direction. Again, pushing forces. So it's three Newtons to the right plus three Newtons to the right, which would be six Newtons to the right. When I look at these, I see two Newtons pushing to the right, two Newtons pushing to the left. Again, they're not the same, so therefore I'm going to subtract. When I subtract, it'll be zero Newtons, which when you have zero Newtons, you have no motion because neither one is bigger than the other. When I look here, I see this is a pushing motion to the right, and this is a pulling motion to the right. So therefore, they are same direction. Even though they're not on the same side, they are still in the same direction, so therefore, you're going to add them, and it's six Newtons to the right. That is, again, how you calculate net force. Now, again, when we're talking about forces in which they are in the opposite direction, and equal. Those are what's called balance forces, just like in this picture of this tug of war. So we have these two boys that are pulling in different directions, but they are pulling with the same amount of force. So when I subtract them, because they're not in the same direction, I will have zero net force, which means that they're balanced. They're equal. When they are equal and opposite, there is no change in motion. So therefore, the either the object stays at rest or if the object is moving at constant speed, it will continue to move at constant speed. When you have unbalanced forces, that means you have forces in which are not equal and they're going in opposite direction. That means that they are unbalanced and therefore the object will accelerate, meaning that it will move. So after these notes, you will practice calculating net force and identifying the direction. If you have any questions, make sure you reach out.